the Lord. We have a young sister here, Wins, Light Obanu. Obasusi, 12 years old. She's been having mucoid discharge from both eyes and photophobia for four years. On the fourth day of this program, the Lord healed her. The mother will give the testimony. Praise the Lord. I give glory to God, for all, uh, Almighty God, for what he has done in the life of my daughter, Wins Light Obasusi yesterday night she returned from school some years back going to four years now i was told that she ran strange um, temperature and that started affecting the eyes she got back home she was fine when she left in the morning by the time she came back she told me that she, her cloth was removed in school because of the temperature and there, there were these um red veins on her, on her eyes when she returned. And it didn't leave for some time. And that problem started ever since. We've been believing on God for the healing since that time. Because we don't have the money to start spending. And I don't even want to hear the name. The doctors will call it. So when we came yesterday, she was saying that she wanted to see uh, Papa Kumuyi. She wanted to see Papa Kumuyi from where we were sitting. At the point, she wanted to see the altar clearly, so she had to stand on the on her chair. So later she stepped down. So when Daddy came to the altar, as the word began, he just came to my to my spirit that wins. Focus on Daddy. Keep on looking at him. Just be looking at him. Since it was the eyes that were paining him, I said, just keep on, just keep on looking at him. I. I was monitoring her. She was trying to see him on the, at the altar. And at the same time, she would check the screen. She kept on doing that until I, I forgot and I kept on listening to the word of God. All of a sudden, she just said, Mommy, Mommy, I'm, I'm healed, I'm healed. I said, wait, wait, let's finish. The word is still going on. She said, I'm healed. The, the uh, liquid is not coming from my eyes. It's not coming out. I said, are you sure? She said, yes. I said, look at it. So I had to test it. I said, look at that light. Very bright light. I said, look at it. I was not scared of what was going to happen. Because she obeyed and she looked at uh, daddy. She looked at it and nothing happened to her. I said, don't worry. She wanted to jump out to come and testify. I said, wait. Let me, when we get to, uh, to the lodge, I will test it again. Behold till today, see, till as I am testifying now, nothing has happened to her eyes. She's fine. And those uh, liquid, they've dried up. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord has given her perfect sight. Tonight, we are there. The power of God is still moving. And I want to assure you the power of God is still moving tonight to save you and to give you your own miracles. Another testimony. Praise the Lord. I have with me Sister Akimbo Sede Helen. She's been suffering from arthritis of 10 years duration. She got her healing on Tuesday here. She will give her testimony. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, I'm here to testify to the goodness of God in my life. I thank God I God I have God show me his mercy and saved me in the year 1989, July 5th. I was there on Tuesday by God's grace, and after the prayer of the man of God touched me. And I have been having arthritis, diagnosed arthritis and rheumatism for the past 10 years, which I could not bath with cold water or walk a long distance without having a muscle pull in the night. 
But by God's grace on Tuesday, as the man of God was praying for us, I had a one sharp pain on my legs. That pain vanished away. Praise the Lord. So we trekked home. I said, I want to observe myself. She started to give this testimony. And I thank God since I've been bathed two times with cold water. Even yesterday, I bathed three times and I've not been having any muscle pull. No, anybody pains. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ten years arthritis vanish away after the prayer of the man of God. Tonight is a night of miracles. You must give your own. God is still moving in the camp. And tonight, the power of the Lord is touching you. Ready to testify. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have marvelous Iriri here with me, 10 year old, 12 years old. He's been suffering from severe itching of both eyes since he was born. The mother is here to testify. He got healed during the Uyo crusade. impossible to man, God has done it. I'm here, I'm Sister Duru Teresa. Then my testimony, this is a boy that with me, it's my brother's child. I brought him from village. So I later discovered that she was having uh, eye itching. And the eye would be as red as oil. And itching him, the all his clothes will soak with uh, water gushing out of the eyes. Then I asked, when did this thing start? He said, Mommy, since they born, I called the father. The father said it's from childbirth. I said, Okay, don't worry. After all the medical uh, uh, treatment, go far and there, there was no solution. As God may have it, on that day of showers of blessing, and I called her, I said, Mad loss. I don't know what to do again. Just go at the altar. Today you will not eat. Just thank God. I've written about you. What God cannot do that I will not be able to do it to them. She went, and she didn't eat that day. So in the evening, when we enter, even my location pastor is aware of it. Many of my brethren. So she was sitting by my side. They think bleeding, and they, they itching. You couldn't bear it. Myself, I said, God. But then the Lord was ministering. He mentioned it. I said, ah, my brethren, the problem, oh, I believe that today is the day. So after that, he went home. He slept like a little baby as he had never slept before. My brethren, as he woke up since today, no itching, no scratching, no bleeding, nothing, nothing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. All testifiers. Anywhere you are, you get you ready to receive your, the touch of God upon your life. Online, audience, wherever you are, something has happened to you tonight. Make sure you get in touch with us so that you can share your testimony. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
I have brother Jonathan Edege here with me. He has been suffering from stroke for three years, and in the middle of this, he also had fracture when he had an he fell on the bike. So he's suffering from stroke, and he also has a fracture. And since then, he's not been able to walk without this walk support. He couldn't get up on his own. Yesterday night. He got his miracle. He will tell you how it went. Praise the Lord. I thank the Lord for being standing before the audience. Give me opportunity to stand before the children of God to testify. I got this uh, stroke. That was 2019. 2019. So I'll be indoor. So I'll be indoor. I'll be indoor. Upon that, I still managed to go out and preach by the grace of God to shorten everything. It was, I came here yesterday. I was listening to the man of God. I was inside there. I didn't receive anything. And I went back to my place, uh, water services. As I was there, a brother said I should not stay the open air. He found a place for me to stay near our water service. So as I was there, I lied down. I wanted to easy myself. I called a brother, please lift me up. Please lift me up. And he came, he lifted me up. And he said, can't you, can't you drop this uh, walking stick? Something just fell on me on my heart. I say, ah, it's true. Let me drop this uh, walking stick. I started walking. That was around 2 a.m. 2 a.m. I thank God for what he has done for me. Please, I want to sing a song. Please. I'm a no sabal woo. I'm a no sabal woo. I'm a no sabal woo. Jesus know your son no Praise the Lord. The miracle be permanent in the name of Jesus. After this one, the next testimony will be listening to testimony online. And I want to remind you that tomorrow is the last Sunday of the year. And we're starting our worship service here by 7.30 in the morning. You need to be here tomorrow because that is the last Sunday of this year. The blessing of 2021 all together will be coming upon your life in Jesus' name. The last session of the program is coming by 5 o'clock in the evening tomorrow. And uh, we must not escape the blessing of tomorrow. And as we come tomorrow morning for the Sunday worship service, 7.30 a.m. in the evening, 5 o'clock. Please make sure you are here for those meetings because tomorrow is the last day of this program of this year. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We have Sister Esther Matthew here with her husband. With a worker in the church who knows about her story. Um, she had since October last year but she got her miracle right here. Praise the Lord. According to her story, she's from she's Esther Matthew from Owode location, Owode District, and Owode Group, Old Ikurudu. 
She came here with a body in her heart, which she never wanted to come because she spent a lot of money in the hospital. But her son, a 10-year-old boy, persisted that, Mommy, if you are not going, I will pack my load and go with my children, teacher. She came here, been waiting upon God since on Tuesday when she got here. But yesterday, after the prayer of the man of God, she got to the hostel. She wanted to use the, the, to ease herself. When she went there with the water, behold, a lovesome blood came out of her body, and every symptom of her ailment disappeared. And since, yes, it, since that morning till now, she has been free. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord is working the camp, and I can assure you tonight, as we listen to the testimony, Testimony will be coming up. You want to listen to testimony now? We want to listen to testimony online now. Great things are happening online. We have spectacular testimonies. Let's begin. Um, we have testimonies coming live all the way from the USA. We have testimony also coming from Germany and some other locations. But before we go to USA, we have this testimony from Benin Republic of a 55 years old woman who could not stand straight for over 11 years now. But she was invited and then she came for this program. And yesterday, when the GS said, let us stand up for prayer, someone who could not stand up, she stood up straight. She shouted hallelujah, and the old village was agog. You can see her on your screen, standing straight. That is explosion. We take you. Now, to this man named Marcos Magaji, who was healed of madness, 39 years. In fact, she was eating feces and urine, trekked from Kafanchan in Kaduna State to Abuja without knowing. He testified that after the prayer of the man of God, something left him and he became completely free. They took him to the psychiatric hospital for confirmation and they certified him completely delivered. We have that testimony. We'll be bringing it to you later. We now go to the United States of America for the next testimony. USA. Praise God. I am Kondua Tobi Bukwabiola. I'm testifying from Nebraska, United States of America. Firstly, I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul, for how he brought me out of darkness into his marvelous light and perfect rest. Secondly, I want to thank God for divine healing. Sometime in 2015, I was diagnosed with a cardiac problem, and it had me living on pills for five years. I had my life on pills for five years. I would use pills morning, afternoon, night to survive. That was the routine for me then. Early this year, sometime in January 2021, I ran out of my dosage. I was in Istanbul, Turkey at that time. Thankfully, I had already, um, I had informed my pastor, Pastor Benson in Istanbul, that uh, concerning my health situation, so he was aware. So I told him about it, that I had run, I had, I had run out of my pills and I would need to get a cardiologist to prescribe another one for me in Istanbul and all of that. But somehow, he encouraged me to have faith. Somehow, his words of encouragement increased my faith and I decided, no, I, I wouldn't get another drug. I wouldn't get another pills. I remember a time the pastor was praying. I was like, God, I lean on you. Do whatever you want to do with me. I am trusting you. I left Istanbul, Turkey for America. And ever since I got to America, I've been fine. I've been doing the things I would never get to do when the situation was there. I've been living fine. I've been living healthy. I've been doing, I've been strong. I've been ill and happy. I live fine. And I wonder, how, how did you come this far? How did God do it? Like, I never had a cardiac crisis. This is happening. Like, this is a reality. God did this. He did this. I, did, I did. A day, 
weeks, months, and it's running into a year. By January, it will be a year without pills, without pills. God has been so faithful. God has been so faithful. To him be all the glory. To him be all the glory and adoration. Arrested by the power of God. We go to Germany now for a live testimony. Germany coming up live. Praise the Lord, everybody. I am Patricia Chuku. I am testifying from Germany. I want to thank God for what he did in my life. It was indeed marvelous. Actually, I got a hole on my right hand. How would that hole? came in existence i don't know i just woke up to see a hole on my right hand it has been a while it has for some time yeah and um, this is how the hole looks like on my right hand it looks like this i don't know how the hole came into my head but i just found out that i had a hole and it's really not um good because I do feel it, I will think about it. How did I come of this? So until my husband got notice of it, and he was like, "This hole supposed not to be in my head. What is this hole doing?" And thank God, then there was a global crusade that um, showers of blessing. Uh, we queue into that prayer, and he said, "I should believe in God," as others have. I have a miracle that I also will have my own miracle. And I believed, I prayed, I I believe, I came into the prayer of the man of God after his preaching. He said that we should place our hand on where the problem is. I raised up my right hand, believing in God. And to my greatest surprise, after the prayer that night, what I passed through was something I couldn't explain, which I have not, I've not passed through before. I had this severe pain on that right hand. I never knew that that was the healing of God. That night, it was so painful. Then, after the night, as day comes, the 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 hole keep drying off, drying off, drying off, drying off. Honestly, it's unbelievable. After that prayer, the hole keep drying off. Till now, as you can see, there is no hole there again. I am free and I am healed. So I want to thank the name of the Lord. Praise God. It was just God that did it for me. Thank you, Jesus. And from Germany, we bring you back to Africa, south-south by Yelsa State, where we told you earlier of an insane person completely healed. We go to Bayelsa, Yenegua, live. I am grateful to stand before you, my brethren. I am, I am here to testify the, the good work that the Lord has done to this, my brother that is standing here, is brother Teloni from Utabage, Ogbea local government, which I have known him before. But when I met him day before yesterday, where I want to go and see somebody, I saw him very tattered and wretched. I was totally confused. And I went closer to him. I asked him, what happening, Brother uh, Kelony? He said that he said that I should sit down first, which I went and sat down with him. Then he told me, as he was telling me that he is mad, he started crying, that he has been roaming around the streets of Bielsa State picking things from the, the, the dustbin, sleeping under the flyover, and also eating dead rats and other things, moving from here to Imbiama, from Imbiama to, from Imbiama to uh, uh, Okobe, and coming back to Bayasa. So he has been roaming about, and I felt very sorry to him, which I told him, 
He was asking me, is it true that I am mad? I said that you are not mad. You are not mad. For you to tell me all these things, it, it indicates that you are not mad. But he was really mad. He was smelling, stinking the clothes that he wore. So I now told him that we have a crusade, a global crusade, that is on ground. You will follow me down to our church where we are we will view the crusade and after the prayer of the man of god i believe that god that delivered the man at gadara with the spirit of insanity that jesus cast out the demon he is going to heal you too which i took him down as we are walking down there getting closer to the church they told me, he told me that they are telling him to run, that he should not follow me, that he is running, he is running, he is running. So from there, from there, I now held him at the waist and I, drew, I, I dragged him to the church. And after we each, we went to the church. But he is here for him to testify for himself. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. As my brother. And we are from close villages. And when he saw me the first day, I played. It wasn't, it wasn't pleasant to me. And he was shocked on it and said, You should take me to a place where I'm. <laughs> Altered by. So, WF Kumi Pastor. Um, he laid his and his left hand, the pastor of the district. Ahead, and the right hand was in. And when it was done, I felt a feeling on me. Because I, ha I had a strong headache on me. And the feeling just left me. That was how I discovered that the next moment I was from my head. Blades. He had to put his blade for me, which we had to remove my nails and my hair. All were being done well, and as I am, I believe I am okay, and I will never go back to such insanity problem. And uh, with Praise that, hallelujah. And from there, we take you to Abuja for another striking testimony. Abuja, live. Brethren, praise the Lord. My name is Brother Ayuadi, my wife here. Ayuadi, we are here to return the glory to God for the miracle that the Lord has performed in our family. We got married in the year 2013, and since then we've been talking God for children. At some point, we took medical tests, and the results that came out from the scan and the various tests showed that there was no problem at all. And kept on trusting God and serving the Lord. In one of our GS messages, precisely one Thursday power night message, he said specifically that if you are trusting God and waiting on the Lord and trusting God for children, go buy your baby I said. The baby is coming. We believe that prophecy. We key into it, we took step of faith, and we bought some baby I said, including children Bible. And we wrote the baby's name on the Bible. We're using those baby items to pray to and trust in God. Praise the Lord, brethren. Early this year, the Lord did it. My wife conceived, and uh, we're believing and trusting God that she will deliver safely. That was in September, during the global crusade in Abuja, we find solution for all. She was having pain, serious pain. We went to the hospital and the doctor said she's not supposed to be having pain because it is not yet time for her delivery. Right there in the hospital, the second and the third and the fourth day of the program, we presented right there in the hospital was, and then the GS prayed, and God Almighty gave us divine solution to that challenge. It's a medical, we call it contraction. 
So God gave us the right solution to the challenge of contraction. The pain stopped, we came back home. At nine months exactly, the Lord, who is ever faithful, gave us this bouncing baby boy. Praise the Lord! Believe the word of God. Trust his word, trust his promise. Believe his prophet. And whatever you are trusting him for, the Lord will surely do in your life. Praise the Lord! We return to the morning. Praise the Lord. The next, the next testifier. Praise the Lord. Of one year at the back, and this swelling was diagnosed to be cancer. But right here, day five prayer, after the prayer of the man of God, she said, this swelling busted. She will give her testimony. I never see this type of God. Oh, I never see this type of God. Wonder, wonder. Wonder, wonder, Jesus in our world. Jesus in our world. Now I am. I never see this type of God. Wonder, 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 wonder. Amen and amen. I have seen the hands of the Lord. His hands has touched me. I stand here. My name is Sister Lade for me, Eta. By the special grace of God, I'm saved. And uh, since I've given my life to the Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus has been all in all for me. Precisely one year, November last year, we went to Thursday Revival Hour. And uh, coming back, getting home, I began to feel it. And I told my children, get me one of my wrapper, let me use that wrapper. And lo and behold, when I removed my clothes, I tried that wrapper, Some, something stinged me at my, at my right hand back. And I look at it as something that is minor. It was there for months. It was there for six months. Then when it now got to the month of September, the pain now, you know, became worse. To an extent that it affected my breathing. It affected every part of my body. For me to talk, it becomes so difficult. And uh, through that, we went to the hospital. And even before going to the hospital, I went to Ifaja. That is Ifaja, uh, Ifaja Medical uh, uh, Health Center there at Salimo Shaw, Ikaja. When I got there, the woman said, for how long have I had there? I told them. They said, this is cancer. I said, no, it's not my portion immediately. From there, we proceed to Lou. And then when we get to Ikeja, Ikeja teaching hospital, and if something was attributed to be cancer, I said, God, the case is yours. And then lo and behold for me to cut the story short. I was given some drugs to use. And after taking these drugs uh, a month, a month plus, when I go back for medical checkup, the doctor will ask me, are you taking the drugs? I said, yes. They said, if you are taking the drugs, by now you ought to have looked so emaciated. Are you eating? I said, I'm eating. They look at me, I said, I told them, I said, I'm eating. And at the end of the day, I told them, I said, I will not be coming again. I said, I will not be coming again because what people are telling me is not what I'm seeing. And I went on my knee with my husband and my children, we began to pray. I said, Father, we need your touch. It was precisely last week. Then he went to another person. And I explained to that person, and the, 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 the man told me, and I said, don't worry. The case, we, you know, we come to an end. Now for me to cut the story short, I, I received the ends of God. And as a pastor, the Lord was praying. I laid my hands. Even before the prayer, I said, if you know you are ready for a miracle, raise your hands on where you have the problem and raise the other hands up. And lo and behold, as I touched the swelling at my back here, my right hand. I saw water. The something just, you know, busted. I began to look at it. As I'm standing here, I am putting on about two different clothes. I discovered water was coming out. I was like, what is this? God. I discovered pus was coming out. And that is the hands of God. And this is what I've been nursing for over a year. This is the evidence. God has healed me. And that miracle in which God has done in my life, that miracle will be permanent in Jesus' name. I have seen the hands of the Lord. You also you will see the, you will see the hands of the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. The Lord has touched her. The miracle will be permanent in Jesus' name. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have with me here Sister Omolara Lamidi. She has been barren for five years, and she also suffered from stagnancy at work, according to her. She has to give her testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the mighty Jesus. My name is Omolara Lamidi from Ring Road, Oduono, Ibadan. I'm here to testify to the glory of God in my life. Sometimes in 2019, I stopped seeing my monthly flow. Then, before then, I've been waiting on the Lord to cuddle a baby. So, I've been, I was um, referred to UCH from the hospital I was using. So, I was there. In fact, the journey has not been easy for me. On two occasions, I had miscarriages, and I was rejected in the private hospital I was using. I was referred to UCH immediately, and the evacuations was done. To the glory of God, last year, sometimes last year, I met a colleague at, uh, at my place of work. I told her what I was passing through, that I've not been seeing my flow, but I was so afraid to tell people, they said, since you have um, entered, you have clocked 40, you can expect that. So I was ashamed. I don't want to tell, to confide in anyone that ah, I've stopped seeing my flow. But I was believing God that it will be restored. And brethren, I'm here to tell you what God did. Last year, December, I'm 1st of December, 2020, I was rushed to the hospital. My daughter here standing beside me was the one that ran to the street to go and look for a bike so that I'll be taken to the hospital because I was bleeding at all. When I got there, the doctor said they are not going to lay their hands on me, that I had to be taken to UCH immediately. So I, that, when I came, when I was eventually discharged from the hospital, I, I just had the team of our December retreat then from bitterness to sweetness. And I was telling God, Lord, please take away every form of bitterness in my life. Because um, at work too, I've spent 11 years, no promotion. Everything was just at a standstill and I was wondering what was happening to my life. So the, the following month, January, this January, the Lord visited me. I never realized it until March when I was feeling sick and then I went to the clinic. I even told our sister that was working there to get the result for me. I was thinking it was something else and she told me, my sister, you are expecting. In fact, the journey of pregnancy progressed well. When it got to five months, Satan wanted to threaten, but God overcame. All through to the time of delivery, three weeks to delivery, the uh, there was I was having headache in my tummy, and then I complained to the doctor. I was, I said it could be one of those silly complaints. Let me just tell the doctor. Unknowingly to me that day, the doctor said when they saw the result, the doctor told me you are not going home today. The baby has to be. This is an emergency surgery. In fact, I bless the name of the Lord that everything ended in praise. The stagnancy at work. Everything happened the same month, January this year, that um, I took in of this baby boy. I was promoted and payrolled that same month. I give God the glory for these wonderful things he has done in my life. All through this period, the Lord was giving me the song that we used to sing, our GHS 5, 
um, in number five, that trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Sing when your uh, trials are greatest. Trust in the Lord and take heart. I'm grateful to God for all that he has done. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. Double miracle for our sisters. And tonight, double miracle for you. The same God that did that for her, we do your own tonight in the name of Jesus. All the people do. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have with me here Sister Fola Shade Balogun. She's diagnosed to have breast cancer. But at the Uyo crusade, the Lord touched her. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I thank God for healing me from breast cancer, I've been experienced for the past one year. The symptoms came up about a year ago, and I used to have these inches in my both breasts. Every now and then, I used to pray over it, but it kept developing something else in me. And I used to have this um, a kind of uh, boil in my breast, in my both breasts. And I have visited some many churches that I used to pray about it. I could not get results. Not until the program that took place in Wuyo and our Father in the Lord, the Messiah of our time, the Moses of our time, that the Lord Jesus Christ is using right now. Ask us to lay hand in wherever, in anywhere that is paining you. And I lay my hand on my breast. So after, before laying my hand on my breast, I've been experiencing a kind of um, It comes out be, behind my nipples. And I was like having a two nipples on my left hand side of the breast. And... I, I just lay down, I just lay my hand on that breast, and suddenly the next day, it started drying off. It, it started like a boil. I went to my mommy and showed her. This is a, another thing I've been experiencing again, no? and she said, where do I go? I said, I went to the crusade that took place at the other side, at the deeper life. And she said, you, you like going here and there. And you know, we are, we are Muslim. Me, I don't know how you have been going around, though. And ever, even ever before then, they've been, they've been coming to preach to my mommy about Jesus Christ. She never has said. She always said, I'm a Muslim. Uh, me, I don't know. I, I don't want Jesus. She always said so. So it was this incident that I show her, look what has been happening to you. Because the thing started, it started drawing off. It started drawing on the first day. I felt something water in it. Then I took a pin and burst it. The water come out. And ever since the water came out of the breast, it started drawing off. Then when I show my mommy, in the, on the third day of the crusade, when I attend the crusade, on the third day, then, in, amen. <laughs> so on the third day, Everything just drawn off. It's dried off. Then it got broken. I took it away from my body. I went to my mommy straight and showed my mommy. When I showed my mommy, she was shocked. I said, where is the church? I said, deeper life. So my mommy said to me that because my mommy was having pain all over her body from head to toe. And she said she has to be there. To God be the glory my mommy gave her life to Christ through, through this incident. And she's there, she's there, she's there sitting down. 
We came down to this crusade together. And I believe God that did this, we do it for her too. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are grateful to God for the wonderful thing God has done tonight. And I want to tell you tonight, there are lots and lots and lots of miracles everywhere. Online, everywhere. So many testimonies are coming in. Online, everywhere. And I want to assure you, tomorrow, the last year of this program is going to be multiple testimony. Multi multiple miracle explosion everywhere tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Now we are going to rise up. We are going to pray. Before we go tonight, remember to...